Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be filming my what I got for Christmas video. Uh, you guys said in my previous video that I filmed like my life update. I'll link up in the eye if you want to see it. With this new background you said that you did want to see those types of videos like the end of year style video and of course what I got for Christmas was part of that and yeah I've had it kind of all just like sitting here waiting for that response and you guys did want to see it so of course it's late it's very very late I'm probably the last person on YouTube to do this video but you guys wanted to see it and it's no skin off my nose so here we are today I've got a lot here and obviously it goes without saying thank you to everyone I am not doing this video to be all boasty or braggy I really appreciate everything and like if you're nosy like me and you just want to see what people got for Christmas I'm just here to show you okay so let's get on let's start off with my brother my brother got us like me and jake a few bits to share and then he got me a few bits that are just for me he got me and jake this bowl i did actually send him the link to this because i really wanted it it was from typo these are like chip and dip bowls but it could just be a bowl if you want to so it's a double dip bowl microwave safe food safe dishwasher safe i don't know if you can see that there but it says half baked inside and it's this beautiful like check pattern i just love this i think it's like so fun and then extra to it you have like this little double dip bowl that kind of sits it sounds really clanky because there's nothing in it it just kind of sits on the side of the bowl and you can put some sauces in there or anything you like like guacamole or salsa and you can get some like chips in there uh, or like uh, Dorito chips or you could just do some hot food what I like about it is you could just take this off and not use this or just have it on the side it's got a flat base to it so you could just have it on the side and not dangling off and it's just like a really good size bowl like a really good size bowl and we don't have serving bowls i have like breakfast bowls and like little dessert bowls and like flat plates but i don't have like a serving bowl for salad and things like that so i thought if anything it like if i don't like this element of it i can just use it as a salad bowl or a serving bowl but i kind of like this okay enough about the bowl but my brother got us a bowl i'm very excited about it he also got us this cute little bath mat because i was saying to him about one of the presents that jake's parents were buying us for christmas and i showed him a picture of what it was um and he got us this little towel oh my god i can't really see it it says wash your hands and it kind of like looks like a little tile situation like a little roman bath towel yeah it says wash your hands i really like it i also feel like because it's like this nice ot neutral beigey colour it will just go in any bathroom in front of any sink in front of any colour combination so I'm very excited about the wash my hands bath towel. Lastly my brother bought the crap out of me and he bought me some things from Charlotte Tilbury. I know that he bought this um, on the Black Friday like set situation like Charlotte Tilbury had loads of sets um, but it was a really good deal I remember seeing it and I was like oh my god like you get three things for essentially the price of one and a half like it was it was mad bro it was mad it was like 60% off so I did send him this and I was like you don't have to get this for me but I really would like this um can I like give you the money like some money towards it so that you can still get the enjoyment of purchasing it you know I mean like one of those things so yeah I kind of like gave him a little bit of money so it was a little bit discounted because I didn't want him spending that much money on me um and he got me the Pillow Talk matte revolution lipsticks this one is in the original pillow talk and this is pillow talk medium which looks like more of a honeyish color which is so nice and then the pillow talk beauty light ones which is the squeezy highlighter i've never used these four i did swatch them because obviously i wanted to enjoy them and just kind of like revel in the moment of having them but i've never had any of these before um and the color is really really nice it is like a little bit dark I think for me but honestly like once it's patted out into the skin like I'm not gonna have a stripe on my cheeks I feel like once it's diffused it'll look quite nice it was a little bit darker than I was thinking but that's okay because it looks really really pretty it's really really shiny you can't really see it from back there but I'm planning on doing kind of a couple of full faces of first impressions because I have so much like haul wise and then of course just the lipsticks look like this they're really really pretty so yeah got the original pillow talk and pillow talk medium let's talk about my grandparents next obviously by the way like jake got presents too but i'm just not going to talk about his because it's not what he got for christmas it's what i got for christmas um my nan and granddad so my dad's side got me if i can unravel it a pair of sweaty betty leggings i did actually purchase these um in the black friday sale they had quite a like heavy discount on a lot of them and yeah i really really like the high power waste ones i think this is what it's called the power yeah the power wasted ones they're like laser cut material um and this burgundy shade i guess burgundy shade like a really nice whiny purple plum burgundy i'm <laughs> really terrible um and these are really really nice i wear these to the gym i wear these around the house they're great 
they make my body look snatched even though it doesn't so it's really really great I love these leggings not really much more to say apart from thank you to them because I did really want another pair of sweaty betties they're my favorite gym leggings ever they also got me this lovely chili bottle which was a collaboration with chilies and liberty look how gorgeous this chili bottle is like uh, it is absolutely divine look at it it's just got these beautiful flowers and I'm obsessed I also love that it's like the new edition with the banded hoop which means I can put my carabiner and like attach it to my bag I love a chili bottle I love it so that was from one set of grandparents my mum's mum and dad got me uh, these formidable wait no formidable is probably the wrong word infamous I don't know chocolate raisins I love chocolate raisins so much I know people were like chocolate peanuts kind of people I'm a chocolate raisin kind of person and yogurt coated raisins I just love raisins covered in something sweet and I love chocolate yeah I just love chocolate raisins um it used to be rum truffles was like the go-to Christmas d treat that she bought treat I don't know like sweet thing um but I haven't had those in a while it's been like chocolate raisins for quite a few years running and I have done very well to not demolish this bag it's just the Sainsbury's own chocolate raisins and you can't go wrong okay you can't go wrong it's health it's fruit I love I love them they also got me a pair of tights or two pairs of tights rather these are 120 denier so like really really thick and black to be honest with you I prefer that I did say before Christmas mom I was like do you know what if like nanny is asking you what to get me I really would like a pair of good quality tights or just tights in general some black tights because I have two pairs of black tights that actually fit me that don't have any holes in um so yeah very excited to actually have some tights and these were really nice and soft so they also got me this little book which looks amazing i'm really excited for this one this is the mindfulness puzzle book it says relaxing puzzles to de-stress and unwind it just looks like this it's just kind of got like loads of puzzles in again i've had to refrain from using this straight away because oh, i don't know i just i feel like at work i really previously in my previous job i really didn't have a proper break i didn't have a break away from the screen i did i just ate food and continued to, I, i'd like go through emails and eat my lunch and be like i am on a break i wasn't like i wasn't having a break from my work and in the day like why am i not doing that so i've said to myself that i'd like to do one of these puzzles every lunch break at work some of them are obviously more difficult than others some are literally like a couple of crosswords some are just spot the difference and so it might take me five minutes some might take me longer so i don't know i just feel like this would be a good way to detach from the screen for a little bit also it's a nice thing to just do in the evenings you know so love that they also got me this bag which i did actually send like the link for and ask for this one specifically because i just really like to look a bit like how sporty and like banana gram it looks you know um my cousin kate actually inspired this bag heavily it's not the same brand but she had like this not sloppy but like sloppy slouchy bananary bag and it looked really sporty and really cool it was like this sort of material and I loved it and I was like where do I get one of those so this is from Urban Outfitters it's really nice and casual good for like just going shopping and just chucking on and I don't own anything like this so yeah I like a handbag I really do oh damn she also got me and Jake this which I just thought I'd mention this is the Avon Skin So Soft original jojoba dry oil spray uh it seems random but this is actually used by the military I think this basically repels mosquitoes and bitey bugs in the summer um I had the old version of this in fact I might still own it somewhere I had the old version like the older packaging and I had like this much left because you just spray it all over your legs and if you don't want to smell like um bug bugicide spray like jungle formula you know like that has a weird citronellary smell and sometimes it can really get you in the back of the throat this obviously smells really nice it just smells of like nice oils um and it repels bugs let's talk about what lily got me lily is my best friend and she came over and stayed at our house just before christmas and we swapped presents and it's really really cute she got me first what i did actually she was like is there anything you would like and i said to her two things i was like these aren't exactly expensive so you can go as cheap or as expensive as you like but these two things that i like and one of them was a hot water bottle because when i get cold i would like to just simply have a hot water bottle my one is this size already but it's really old and i'm kind of scared that it's gonna rip and explode and i'm gonna have hot water like all over my belly and have like burns i'm kind of scared i'm not really 
in for that sort of game so she bought me this one this is from asos and it came in like this set with these really cute like booty things that you would wear probably like i don't know would you wear them as socks or over your socks i'm not sure it's kind of like fleece lined so maybe you wouldn't wear socks with these do you have these do you know if you wear socks with these or not um they have these cute little pom-poms on them as well but i feel like these would be really good for when i'm working from home um, and I work from home a lot and I have really poor circulation, like terrible circulation. So I feel like these are going to be good to just keep my feet warm and I can have a little hot water bottle. I can be like a little Eskimo sitting at my desk, living my best life. Uh, but Lily got me this heatless curling set from Kitched. I really, really wanted this. It came in the sunset and I, I kind of like low key wanted the sunset one, but I wasn't particularly fussy. But I did, I did kind of want the sunset one because of the cute colours. Um, and essentially like, how do I describe this? Maybe I can just show you the picture on the back. This is what you do, it's kind of like the overnight curls like with your um, dressing gown band I suppose. That's what I used to use, wow, that's what I used to use but now I've got a proper curling set and yeah I feel like I'm gonna get my hair cut probably in a couple of weeks because it's getting a bit ratty but um, I really like when my hair's short and done overnight curls, it stays the longest with overnight curls, it doesn't, it doesn't hold with like heat so I'm really excited to use these really good Christmas presents so I will definitely use this. All the time. It's also satin, so it's not gonna damage my hair. She got me a Dr. Hauschka Revitalizing Day Lotion. This is one of my favorite moisturizers like ever. It's just so serum-y, so like, oh, it just makes my skin feel so, so good. And um, I only have one, I only have one left, but I have one left and I was holding it back because I was like, oh, I'm gonna end up using it up and then, you know, like, I just, I'll have to get another one, you know? So she got me one for Christmas. I'm buzzing. I really, really love this one. I won't like open it, open it, but I'll just show you the bottle. It just looks like this. It's a really, really great moisturizer. And honestly, one of my favorites. I'll be sad when I've got to the bottom of it all. I should probably try something new, but like, you know, the wheel's not broken, don't fix it. That's not the same. If it's not broke, don't fix it. But I really, really like this moisturizer. So thank you, Lily, for the top up. Very much appreciated. She also got me this really cute hat. So like, how cute is this? It is from Accessorize. And I just thought this was adorable. I'm not gonna put it on my head now because I've got half a ton of dry shampoo in my head. It's not like a beanie, so it's not slouchy. It is like a proper, like, put it over your head, cover the whole head situation. I really like this. It's like very art deco-y. It's very cute and it's black and camel. So it would literally go with everything. So appreciate that. Lily has got good style when it comes to winter wear. She also got me this little like um post it card thing, postcard thing. She went to Shakespeare's birthplace and it says we know what we are but know not what we may be and that is a quote from Hamlet so nice I might put it up like I've got like a little a little frame thing in the living room I might like prop it up on there for a little bit. It's kind of in like innovative I quite like that little gifts it's, it's interesting I like it. Um she also finally I know she got me a lot she got me the honey I washed the kids um set gift set it came in this beautiful like beautiful bee like wrapping and i've deliberately like peeled it off so gently because i want to wrap up my mum's mother's day present in it this year like it just looks so pretty so pretty um and inside this, this is from lush did i say that i don't know inside it's got this honey scented soap oh god it smells so freaking divine and also inside is a honey scented oh bath bomb I love this. I'm gonna have to fight Jake to use this because he loves a bath bomb. But yeah, really excited for the soap. I use soap to wash my hands like in the bathroom all the time. So, oh my God, it just smells so good. So good. So thank you Lily for those wonderful gifts. Very much appreciated. My cousin Kate bought me a few bits as well. She got me this really cute um, like jewelry, like travel jewelry box. I don't actually own a single travel jewelry box. I literally go on holiday with like in the baggies that you get like a spare button in. I just like poke my necklace and earrings in there and I'm like a little pauper. And when we went on holiday last year in the summer, oh, <laughs> I put those in there. Um, when we went on holiday in the summer, I didn't have anything. She was like, is that your travel jewelry case? And I was like, yeah. So this is a really good size actually because you could fit a couple of pairs of like earrings or a necklace. You can like take the button off, you know, and like dangle them in and then like lay it all nicely. A couple of ring holders and it's got like these two really nice sections to put some jewellery in. So I feel like this is a really good one for if you're going away for a week. It's like a good size and um, it's orange. I like it. It's really, really cute. I like it. I don't have one. So nice. She got me this recipe um, planner as well. So I love to cook. Let me, oh, come on. I love to cook and I don't have a recipe 
uh, like diary to where I can write my own recipes and put them in there or write any like family recipes. I don't own that. I lo like I said, I love cooking and I did mention to her that I didn't have anything like this. So she got me this, it is so cute. It's got like these little oranges on it. It's just gorgeous. Inside it has like lunch, dinner, bakes, desserts and eating out. So each section, sorry, I'm not gonna do very good at this. Each section looks like this. So you've got like the time it takes to cook, what it is, how many people it serves, the ingredients, the method. And there's like a good amount of like space. It's a whole like page, like that page and that page for the whole thing. Um, yeah, I really, really like it. So you've got like the breakfast, lunch and dinner. And then, like I said, you've got bakes and desserts. And then the whole eating out is kind of like this. So you've got like places to try, like the love hearted like ranking of how well you liked it. And you also get some like stickers, I think it was at the back. Let me see where they are. You get some like stickers, which is, I don't really know what these are for, but like you get some stickers to decorate them with I guess um, and also what I really like about this is it's got the uni units of measurement on the back so um, like weights imperial and metric and then liquids imperial metric and American spoons mill tablespoons to cups oven temperatures gas Fahrenheit and Celsius it's got like all the conversions in the back which I really appreciate um, and also in individual slots like the dividers there's like a little pouch so if there's something it's like a recipe that I found and I just want to tuck it in there I can really like this I'll definitely be using this like I said I love to cook and I really want to be cooking some more different meals especially like lunches I feel like I don't cook or like prepare the best lunches for myself I usually am like a little bit of a pot noodle gal and it's not that great so I'm really excited to use this this is gonna be really loud on the camera but she also got some pasta that's like shaped like little leaves I don't know if you can see that look and she was like Megan, the vibes were matching, I had to get the pasta. So really excited to use this. I'm gonna do this in like a really nice springtime like pasta salad, I think. I feel like that'd be a really cute thing to do. Nice like spring pasta salad. So she got me that. And then she also got me these um, two little notepads, which coincidentally do fit into the recipe book really well. So I think that's where I'm gonna keep them. Um, and they're just like two nice little stationary like books really. So one is cubed paper which is an underrated format of a notebook, may I just say. Cubed paper, underrated. And then the other one, which is like this swirly pattern on the outside, I feel like my camera is not playing game, is just lined paper inside. So yeah, I really, really like these and I might keep these as part of like my recipe jotting down before I write it up in neat in the actual recipe book itself. Because I'm that person that needs to write something up to know what I'm writing and then write it up in neat. So thank you Kate, really appreciate the presents, they're really really sweet and I'm looking forward to writing my recipes and making my springtime pasta salad. Shall I go through what Jake got me? So Jake got me a new gaming keyboard. It's nothing like particularly special, um, I did actually ask for this one, I need to plug it in and just try it out. But the keyboard I have at the moment, there's nothing wrong with it at all, it, but it is actually my cousin's, it's his spare one. And I know like this is not really why you buy a keyboard, but I have long nails sometimes. I suppose this is like as long as I go. I don't really go longer than this, but I do like to have girly nails and I want the ability to have them long, which means I prefer like a keyboard style that's flat like this. I don't know if you can see, like the keys don't chunk out because when they do, I feel like my nails get stuck in them. I like to be able to type like this as opposed to this. I don't know why, but this one is a really nice flat keyboard and each of the keys light up as well. So it's a bit more like gaming style, but nice and flat and sleek and I can still use it for working from home. I was gonna go for white and then I was thinking about how grubby they get. So I was like, maybe I won't get the white keyboard. So um, yeah, he got me this keyboard. I need to plug it in. So I'm very excited about this. Hopefully it works. If not, then I'm gonna have to ask him to take it back and we'll get another one. But like I said, I really liked the fact that it was flat, that the keys were flat, it lights up and it's just plain black. So it's really nice and universal. It will go with any setup and it's nice and long. The keys are nice and big as well for gaming and they've got a really positive, like, click to them. They feel nice, they don't feel like empty and hollow. They feel quite nice. So very excited for that indeed. Thank you, Jake. He also got me a book. This is the Prima Facie kind of script, right? He wanted to get me the story, but he said that there wasn't like a story book as such because it is a play. Um, we went to go see Prima Facie, uh, oh, crumbs, like August time maybe. He got me tickets for my birthday. Was it was July, I don't know. He got me tickets for my birthday in 2022 and I thought it was amazing. I love Jodie Comer. We 
I, yeah, but you went to go see it, it was amazing. And he bought me this book, which was really, I did not expect that at all. And when you go through it, like it's a one woman show and it is like the whole time, there's no intermission. She just goes, the, wait, is there an intermission? No, there's no intermission. She just goes the entire two hours. It's incredible. And yeah, even he said like, when you actually go through this book, you realize how much this woman learn off by heart, did all the stage directions and like, Okay, can you imagine revising an entire book word for word and doing the stage directions? It just goes to show how amazing she is as an actress and yeah, I really liked it. So this is a really cool one. I'm actually gonna like go through this again, I think in proper time. I'm currently reading a book already, um, but I wanna go through this and remind myself of the story. It's, it's really good. If you haven't seen it, then uh, if you can, at the cinema or like on TV and stream it, it's really, really good. It's a bit of a dark story, but it's, it's an amazing piece of artwork. This boy, this boy, I tell you that, <laughs> he does nothing in half measures. He bought me flumps to last me for the rest of my life. There's 50 of them. <laughs> I've eaten one since Christmas. He's got me 50 flumps. Like, what What do I do? I mean, obviously I know what to do with them, I eat them all, but these things are packed in there. I plan on having these in my lunchbox, like for like my treat in my lunchbox for work. I mean, I, I love a marshmallow. I specifically love Barrett's flumps. I feel like they're the best. They have like the nice powderiness. They're just like the best marshmallow for just eating. Not the best marshmallow for toasting, I will I will say, but they are the best marshmallow for just munching on. They're so good. They're not too sickly sweet. They're my favorite. And he bought me 50 of them. Like, where do you even buy these? <laughs> So this next present he was kind of unsure about and he was kind of like, I don't know if you'll like this or you'll kind of like not use it, I don't know. But he bought it for me and I do understand why he's bought this. So this is like a safe locker thing which like you can dial the time and say like how long you want it to be locked for. So you can put your phone in there and be like, right, okay, for the next hour, I'm not going to look at my phone and I'm just gonna like psh, turn it in there, you know, put it in there. But you essentially like dial the top to say how, like, how long you want it in there for. Um, and then it won't, like, you can't open it until the time runs out. There is like an override. So if you did put your phone in there and someone was ringing you, you could override it. But for me, I am definitely a procrastinator for myself. If I'm doing something for someone else, I'll just get it done like straight away or make it one of my priorities. But I don't prioritize like my to-do list very often. So Jake was like, when you want to go film a video or and you don't need your phone or you want to do some housework or you want to do a project, like when I want to tidy the office, he was like, you could shove your phone in here and say, right, for the next hour, I don't have access to distraction. I'm just gonna get what I need done. Or reading a book. I'll be really honest, like reading a book, I will sit there and scroll on Instagram put my phone down, be reading a book, and then like pick up my phone as soon as it buzzes. So he was like, this might be quite good to just zen yourself. So we'll see. I could probably put snacks in there as well and be like a reward. I can reward myself with snacks after like half an hour of housework. I don't know. I don't know how much I want to use this, but it's a really cool idea and I feel like we could both use it. So, I mean, I've never really seen these before. It's kind of like a phone jail, I guess, but yeah, it's cool. He also, because he is the king of experiences and buying days out, he's like sport the hell out of me. He got us both a ticket to go to the Harry Potter um, studios. I've never been before. And I've always said like, I really wanna go to Harry Potter studios. Really wanna go to Harry Potter studios. Everyone I know is gone. It's literally an hour and a half down the road. So I don't know why we've not gone. It's like literally, do it in a day. So he's got us tickets to go there, really excited to go. Um, and he also, oh my God, this man, honestly, he spoiled the crap out of me, but he got us annual tickets to the Eden Project down in Cornwall and I am so buzzing. Like, I have always wanted to go to the Eden Project. I've never been before. And I feel like because we've got annual passes, we're gonna go in January. I know that's kind of like winter time, so probably a lot of the flowers won't have bloomed, but I kind of wanna see like a before and after anyway. He's booked for January for the first visit. And then we're gonna probably go again in the summertime, which I think I'd like to go for my birthday. So yeah, hopefully we can go again in the summertime. And yeah, I mean, it's an annual pass, we can go. So I'm really, really excited. He's got all of that. Um, and it'd be a really good excuse for us to go down to Cornwall and have like a little like staycation. Um, we both really like Cornwall and that sort of area. So yeah, it's, it's really nice. I'm really excited for the Eden Project. I've always wanted to go. I love plants. I love plants. Plant mum is a new cat mum. Like I love them. I love them. So yeah, really excited. He's bought me rotten and he's bought us like two really cool experiences for the Harry Potter 
and he did land but Harry Potter Studios and the Eden Project that was like so cool I would never have thought of that so he got me some like really interesting presents this year totally spoiled let's go on to Jake's family as well so Jake's sister got me this Udi well it's not like an Udi Udi it's like a you know what I mean like it's that sort of Udi style thing I have been living in this this is like my most used Christmas present already I I have literally not taken this off it's like this teddy feel inside and out and it's just like this gray and it's got like a big two big pockets like way down here it comes to like just above the knee and i've just been chucking this on in the evenings and then putting a blanket over me like i do get cold really easily like i love to be warm i love to be cuddly i love to be warm and i've actually always wanted an udi i've never bought one just because i'm like Oh, you know it's one of those things it's just like I don't know why I've, that I never bought it for myself and yeah so she bought me this Udi I think yeah this is from Primark so maybe go down there if you want an Udi but don't want to pay for like £40 for one of them um, I don't know how much this one was because obviously it was a gift but it's really cute and it's lovely and neutral not that that really matters because like I'm not going to leave the house in this but it's so bloody warm I love it I literally love it she also got me this scarf with my initial on it I think this is so cute this is like very um not Harrods, what's the other one? Like, uh, 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 I forgot what it's called. Like, you know, the HH, the monogram, I forgot what it's called. Her Hermes? Her Hermes? No, Hermes is, <laughs> wait, Hermes. Hermes? You can tell I don't own anything from there. But this is really gorgeous. It's just like a really nice, neutral, like, OT beige scarf. Something you could just, like, chuck on for more of a fashion accessory, I think. But it's actually really nice and soft and really warm. I haven't used it yet just because I haven't had the opportunity to use a scarf yet. But really, really nice, really lovely. And again, because it's like that thinner material, there's quite a lot of it, but it's thinner. So you could afford to, like, wear this in the springtime. It's not necessarily just a winter scarf. So cute. I really like it. On to Jake's mum and dad, they got us this really cute personalised ball ball with a J and an M in it, like a little love heart, which is quite sweet. We do have red ball balls on our tree, so it's not out of place at all. This is like a really big one. It is glass, even though I thought it was plastic. And then they were like, no, 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 it's glass. Um, This is from, I don't know where, this is from The Workshop, Personalised Handcrafted Conscious Decorations, www.thie.co. These are their details here, so you can see their email is just there, um, and their at as well. So I've never seen this brand before, but they always get us something like personalised for Christmas. Last year, uh, Jake's sister got us a personalised like charcuterie board. Um, before they've got us a personalised like pillow with me like mine and Jake's names on. And before that, it was a popcorn bowl. Like literally, we can't split up. <laughs> we got so many things with like a monograms and stuff. So oh, and we got last year from his mum and dad's. We got a doormat with my name and his name on it. It's like really sweet. And I haven't, I've deliberately not used it because I don't want it to like break apart. So I'm like, this can't be used on our door for our dirty feet. So I, like, I put it on the landing and put the recycling bin on. They probably see it and they're like, they didn't like it. No, I love it so much that I can't use it. I can't get it dirty. Um, but yeah, cute little ball ball. They also got us this Christmas Eve candle um, from Loaf, which I think is the sofa company, isn't it? So this candle just looks like this. It's like a really neutral, like stone cup. Really, really, really pretty. Uh, again, this is from Loaf and this is the Christmas Eve candle. It smells like very, like, Christmas spices mixed with a pine tree that's what I'd say this smells like very like I can smell the pininess in it but then also like that cinnamon and like orange spices coming through really really lovely it's hand poured in cool wool using a blend of mineral and vegetable wax our lovely ceramic candle can burn for 35 hours oh here you go smells like fir tree cedar wood and cinnamon am I right or am I right look at this nose look at this nose it's a 5 a.m wake up call I don't think so no, 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 no. This this girl does not wake up at 5 a.m. <laughs> His mum and dad actually sport the crap out of me. Like, they are terrible for that. They will, they, they spoil us rotten. And honestly, it's so not needed. But bless them, they're so cute. Um, I've got this Gucci nail polish. I feel so bougie that I own something from Gucci now. It's this red nail polish. It kind of gives me, like, the Barbie Polly Pocket vibes with this, like, long, I don't know, like, ribbed handle and I love red on my toenails this is like a really ruby red really really pretty and yeah now I can say something like I own something from Gucci because I definitely don't this is goldy red is what it's called love it I love painting my nails as you all know I love doing my nails so that was like so didn't expect that really really nice they also raided the white company by the looks of things I know that Jake's mum loves the white company so they got me this thing 
<laughs> it looks obviously I give off the vibe I'm a very cold person between like Lily and them they've bought me like the warm things um so this is like you put both your feet in and underneath um you like zip it out there's a microwavable pad that you put in so you microwave it microwave it all up and then like it can just sit underneath the desk and you can put your feet in and it keeps your feet warm how gorgeous is this I mean you could do it just like on the sofa as well because it's got like this soft material bottom but how gorgeous is this and it's all fluffy to us even if you didn't want to use the heating pad I feel like even just this it's like one big slipper and you just put your feet in I love it I've never seen anything like this before it's actually really really cool they've also got me the matching hand warmers that you can also put in the microwave yeah 40 seconds in the microwave and there's just this really cute fluffy like hand warmers I don't know what to say I am gonna be very warm they also got me from the white company's little jewelry case and I know Kate got me one as well but that one like luckily they are very different and like I said I don't own a jewelry case so it's not like I now have three I just have two but I thought that this one would be perfect for like going to work if I like have a trip not local to me and I have to go on the train or anything this is like a perfect get ready because it's it's small but it's like perfect for just like a day's worth of jewelry or my second idea which I think is probably going to be the better idea is having this in my gym bag it is gorgeous it's like this suede grey material and then like shiny top it's really really pretty but I feel like this would be really great for my gym bag because when I go after work if I've got jewellery on I don't like working out in jewellery I don't mind studs like earring studs but I don't like working out with a necklace on or rings because like if I'm lifting weights it really like cuts in I can fit a ring or two in here and like a necklace I couldn't probably fit a week's worth of jewellery in like I could with Kate's because it's like not quite big enough but I feel like this is perfect for my gym bag so it's gonna live in there it's gorgeous it's really really shiny thank you so much to Jake's mum and dad literally spoilt rotten did not ask for all this just so spoiled so so thankful <laughs> they also got us two more things and I completely forgot because they're not in the room with me they got us this bath mat so me and Jake this bath mat which has like these lovely little monstera leaves all over it but it's made out of like stone I mean it feels like wood but apparently it's made out of stone and it soaks up the water and you like you don't get a little, like wet towels everywhere I feel like that's a really good idea I've never seen that before so that's really cool and they also got us a new unit to go underneath our bathroom sink we did actually ask for that for Christmas it was like the one thing we did actually really want um, and I'll take a picture of it and put it here it's really really beautiful it was slightly too tall so shout out to my granddad for cutting the legs off a little bit and just making it go under the sink better because I was low-key embarrassed it was two centimeters too tall and when I tell you that Jake's mum and dad like drove an hour and a half to go pick up this pedestal like th thing to go under the pedestal because it was out of stock in our local one I felt so bad but it's so beautiful I really love it Jake really loves it and we're really like glad for it so yeah that was a really nice presence from them really spoiled like I said they totally went overboard but um they always get good presents so last but not least are the presents from my parents. So Jake and I had a combined present um, of a carpet cleaner. I actually really wanted this carpet cleaner. Um, specifically, we got the Vax one. I'll pop up a picture here because I can't bother to go out and go get it because hell nah to that, it's too heavy. Basically, I really wanted it to clean our carpets. Obviously, we have a carpeted like hallway and it gets quite a lot of traffic and I can imagine how filthy it is and I'm so excited to clean it. I need like a whole day dedicated to just cleaning the carpet. I'm buzzing, I am buzzing to clean it. I also really want to clean our sofa as well. It's not dirty by any means, but I just want to give it like a little freshen up and it comes with like an upholstery cleaner bit. So I'm interested to do like the bits that get most traffic. We've got like an Ottoman sofa that's like this with two Ottomans on it. So I'm excited to like do the bit where people sit on and like guests, you know, come and sit and stuff. So uh, yeah, really excited to do that. It also came with a free or like discounted floor steam cleaner. So we got that as well. So like I am going to be cleaning all of our floors. I'm, I'm very excited about this. I'm, I mean, I feel like, what can I say about a carpet cleaner? But I'm very excited. Obviously, as that was like the main present and obviously very expensive, both Jake and I got some like other few bits and my mum always does us a stocking full of like little helpful, useful things that we might need to top up throughout the year. So in my stocking was some shampoo. This is just Herb Essences, Nourish Passion Flower, Passion Flower? Yeah, Passion Flower uh, shampoo. Smells really good. I love shampoo because, you know, Want to clean my hair i also got some deodorant some dove spray on deodorant which is always helpful as you can tell these all stocking shaped so far uh, i also got some white chocolate smarties never tried them before they're very sickly like 
it's like the best chocolate to only have a couple of like normally I could just demolish a whole tube of Smarties these ones are like you can have like five to ten Smarties which isn't a lot and you'll be like that's enough for me so they're really quite nice very sweet I still prefer classic Smarties but good to try new things I also got in my stocking this soap which I'm not gonna lie I'm actually buzzing for so it's all like this handmade vegan free from palm oil SLS parabens it's like interstellar soap it's so cool it's in this cube format it smells amazing it smells amazing um and this brand is by the london alchemists i've never had them before but this scent is frankincense vetiver and neroli really 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 nice it's really like a luxury smell um so this was in my stocking too some soap and then i also got in my stockings some more tights for my mum i think i'm gonna have to ask her to get the size down because i think these are an extra large and i'm more of like a large going by the sizing guide here so Soz mum, I'm gonna have to ask you to go back to Sainsbury's and replace these tights with a size down. But these are like the um, tummy control ones, so they're a bit tighter around the waist and the arse a little bit. Uh, I also got given a Terry's chocolate orange, uh, it is a half eaten, it's in front of me, I've been snacking on it whilst I'm gaming. I love a good Terry chocolate orange. Christmas isn't Christmas without a Terry's chocolate orange in my eyes. I didn't actually buy anyone else one though, so faux pas on my part. But love a Terry's chocolate orange, both me and Jake got one of those sound. I also got this which I did actually, uh, I did low-key order for myself and then I was like gave it to my mum and I was like can I have this for Christmas please so I don't have to pay for it. Um, I got it for Lily as well but this is really cute so I got one for my cousin for Christmas it was like a peach and I got this for Lily like I saw the peach and I was like that's actually quite cute and then I saw one of these and it's like a little seal pup and it's a handle where you just shove it in the microwave that you microwave your seal and it's just like nice and fluffy you cut this massive tag off you don't keep that on there and it's just like a little hand warmer and I just thought while I was gaming like it's just like nice to hold on to or if I'm like really cold it's just like nice and fluffy I probably didn't need this but he was just so cute like look how cute he is it's adorable I also got this which I did actually ask for and then I completely forgot about this so sounds happy about this one this is the magic this is like on amazon this was the magic gel eye warming gel um eye patch like situation it just looks like this so it's an ipads like patch thing that obviously like goes across your eyes like a sleeping mask almost you know like sleeping mask is that what they're called sleeping eye mask and then it comes with these two silicon like gel patches like a blue one to keep cold and the pink one to warm up i could actually just get it out and show you so it comes like this like you get two of these things one goes in the fridge one can be put in a pot of hot water and then you put it in the actual eye mask pouch itself it has like a mesh thing and you can just put it on your eyes and you can either have like a hot compress or like a cold compress this honestly is going to sit in our medical kit because it's not something that i'd do every day it's something that i do to treat myself in terms of like a treatment um when my eyes are hurting so like i said blue the cold one i can use if i've got hay fever watery kind of puffy eyes and I want to reduce the puffiness and then the hot one or warm one I'm going to use like when I've got headaches and things like that Jake has already used it because he had a, a, like a painful eye he accidentally cut his eye it was less than really painful and he used the cold one and he said it really helped it felt nice so yeah and last but not least from my mum and dad I got a pair of earrings I think this is so so cute these are sterling silver and cubic zirconia not that I thought these were real diamonds. My mum and dad are not bawling that much. But these earrings are just really cute. They're like square hoops. So you can see like that. Very like art deco-y. And then kind of like fake diamonds all down the centre. I don't know if you can actually see that. But I really like them. I think these are really sweet. And like nice and dangly. Yeah, really, really nice. My camera battery just died again. Which means I've been talking for way too long. I'm so sorry if this video is so long. But that was it. That was everything that I got for Christmas. Sorry if I have missed anything. If I have missed anything, there are very good reasons for it. It's either because I've eaten it, because I've enjoyed it, because it was food. Or uh, I'm using it so much that it's now part of my daily life and I completely forgot about it. I nearly forgot about the snuddy. This thing. I nearly thought about it. It was on the sofa and I was like, oh crap! I got that for Christmas too. So it's either fully part of our routine or I have, well yeah that's the only two things really, is if I've forgotten something it's because we've eaten it or because I'm already using it so much that I forgot that it was even for Christmas because it's now just part of my life. So 
both good reasons <laughs> if I've forgotten anything but hopefully I've not thank you so much once again to everyone who got us gifts so yeah thank you guys once again so much for watching really really appreciate it let me know what you got for Christmas like if you've enjoyed this video subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one bye